and welcome to the Corpus Linguistics Workshop with Dr. Barmi Kirishai. Today, we will look at how to use the keyword function in the Nkong version 4.2.0. So, let's get started. First, we have to open the Corpus Manager. For the target corpus today, we will use the American English 2006 corpus. So you need to click on target corpus, double click on AME06, and then choose AME06.db, which is like the whole American English corpus. Uh -huh. Double click on it. Okay. And then uh, you can select the reference corpus by clicking on the reference corpus tab here and we will choose the British English 2006 corpus as a reference corpus. So double click on it and then choose the BE06.DB. Double click on it as well. Huh? Now that they are ready, you can return to the main window. So now that the corpus are ready, we can see the target corpus at the top here and we have some information about the, the target corpus. Uh, the reference corpus are ready as you can see from the bottom. Okay, we can see the files, the name, then the tokens uh, in this corpus. Now before we use the keyword function, let's select the statistics for comparison. You can go to the setting and select tool setting. Now click on keyword. So here we have a lot of settings, but today we will focus on the likelihood measure. The default statistics is log likelihood for term, but we would change that to text dispersion keyness for term because this statistic has been claimed to be more effective. So let's select it. Okay, we can adjust the effect size measures here as well. But for now, let's just use the default setting and click on apply. So the next step, you need to click on the keyword tab at the top, like this. Okay, and then we can click start. And now we can see the table showing the results. So these words occur more frequently in American English than British English. So these are the list of words. We have the frequencies in the target corpus and the frequencies in the reference corpus. The range column shows how many texts each keyword occur in, in the target corpus and the reference corpus. Now in this column here, we see the keyness likelihood, which shows you how sure it is that these are keywords. The last column shows you the keyness effect or effect size, which shows you the degree of differences between the words in the two corpora. Looking at the keywords on the list, we can see that these are mainly words that have different spellings in American English and British English and also some terminology related to America. You can sort the result in many different ways but the default setting is by the likelihood value. Mm -hmm. But there are also other ways that you can choose from. If you want to swap the target and the reference corpus, you can go to File, and then select Swap Target and Reference Corpora. Now they are swapped, and you can click Start and see the result. So these are words used more in British English. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Goodbye.